guys, we have a really good show today. But let's be honest, it's not like if we had a bad show, I'd be like, today's episode's a real turd. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching the premiere of One Big Happy. Thank you so much. And to those of you who enjoyed it, I really appreciate it. Keep watching. And to those of you who didn't enjoy it, <laughs> and keep watching. <laughs> Speaking of one big happy, today on the show, Kelly Brook is here. Woo! Woo! Guys, she plays Prudence, the British bombshell who comes in, falls in love with Luke, and wreaks havoc on Lizzie's life. And um, I'm going to be honest with you, she's one of the most gorgeous people I've ever seen in my life, in with my eyeballs. <laughs> And she's sitting right there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by V-Mobile. <laughs> it's the only cell phone that's always set to vibrate. <laughs> V-Mobile, who's that calling? I don't care, keep calling. <laughs> V-Mobile, the V stands for if I have to tell you, you're watching the wrong show. <laughs> now, here to be cooler than me, which, let's be honest, is easy. My side geek and best les, Rami Rosendahl. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi. I tried to Good. adjust the plan so that it didn't attack your face. I know, this is great. Thank you for doing that. You're so welcome. Thank you. Look at you, you tough little lesbo. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. I'm like, I'm like Rizzo and yeah. Fonz and a little. Yeah. Do you have like any wrapped up in a dork? Do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna ask if you have any more recent references, so this, <laughs> the 17 year olds who watch the show might know who you're talking about. I don't think I do. No. Oh, you guys. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hi. Did you are you, did you sort of go like tougher because Kelly Brook is here? Yeah, a little bit. Of, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. I, you you know. feel like I feel like she likes a lady in a leather jacket. <laughs> <laughs> She's smiling. Tough guy. Yeah. <laughs> now we have something in common, that's true. which is that we're both sort of obsessed with England and English people. It's true. Yeah, yes. that's why I wrote the character of Prudence because I just love English people. We're so. both Anglophiles. We're I both have I have English family, so I have my co oh. I have co British cousins. Yeah, I have no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's an awesome place and the people are fun and they sound cute. <laughs> so. <laughs> is that the meaning? It is. <laughs> um, um, and, yeah. and, and your cousins, do they know who Kelly Brook is? They know who Kelly Brook is. They yeah. knew, yeah. When I said we're doing a show with Kelly Brook, they were like, oh, really? Oh. <laughs> I told you. Your <laughs> accent's better than mine. Your, your, your fake accent's really better than my fake accent. I've had a lot of practice. Yeah. Because all those summers in England. Oh, so you spent, you've spent a lot of time in England. Yeah, well, growing up, we would go over and visit. My cousin Tara is seven years older than me. And, and she, she lives she was in like, England. She lives in England. Okay. And she was like the, my super cool cousin who would come and bring music, and she would bring blur tapes, or she would bring you know, mu new music that I, would that I should listen to. And so that's, that's kind of how this whole thing happened. You got into <laughs> music because of your cousin Tara. Tara. Who is obviously English. <laughs> And because Carrie. if she yeah. was from America, she'd be called Tara. Tara. <laughs> it's true. That's why you're so cool. It's not <laughs> you, it's Tara. It's Tara. <laughs> She's loving this right now, too. <laughs> Tara, you should be on the show. Oh, darling. Not this imposter. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind, of, uh, what kind of music do you have for us today? I'm so excited about who we're going to talk about today because um, this album. Yeah. This is Don Richards' new album. Um, you might, you might be thinking to yourself, I know that name. This is because um, Don Richard was in a band called Danity Kane. Do you remember Danity Kane? They were in, a, they were the, the, I think they were the first making the band, you know, when Diddy did that oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, this album just came out. This is the second album of a three-part series. It's a trilogy. The first album was Golden Heart. This is, album is called Black Heart. And um, the next one's going to be called Catching Fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you, Ooh, to, that's cool. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. The Look album at that art. Look at that cool the album art is printed thing. right on the album. This is a beautiful record. It 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 really requires you sitting down and listening to it from beginning to end. Um, but you know, if you need a couple of singles, I would 
check out Billie Jean and Phoenix. Those are two great songs as a kind of an intro to the album, but this is kind of required listening where you sit down and you actually enjoy the whole album. Okay, that's um, a lot, this, this, so you're demanding. No, I will. <laughs> Come on, Sometimes. invest your time. This album is kind of like the sonic experience, so it, it, it kind of feels like it's one piece of music. This is a lot of pressure you're putting on people to listen to this album. <laughs> I love it. I'm just it's you know. a sonic experience. So you're saying like from start to finish, it's like this one. Yeah, it's like thing. you're 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 part of the story. You're going you're on the journey with her, and and so I, that's why I would suggest that you just listen to it from beginning to end. But if you have to pull some out, um, I won't be angry. I just want you to listen to her. Okay. Yeah. Don't make Rami angry. <laughs> don't be upset. She's a nice lady. She's I suggesting really... music to you from the kindness of her heart. I don't pay her. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's I know. <laughs> so that's my recommendation for this week, Don Richards' Blackheart. Please go out and listen to it on Spotify, then go out and actually buy it. Support these independent artists who are working so hard for you. Um, <laughs> and that's it. That's what I got. Rami Thank you! Thank you. Yeah. Bye, bye. Just gonna, just gonna take, yep, That's thanks. Fine. Okay, yeah. sorry, excuse me. <laughs> and now she stars as Prudence on One Big Happy. She's Great Britain's hottest export. Please welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, mostly ladies, it's Kelly Brooke! Yeah. 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 Hi! Hi! Hi. Hi. I'm all right, how are you? Great. What type of accident were you in that took the uh, left arm of your dress? <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't quite make my mind up, so I just thought I'd rip it off. Oh, thought, yeah. yeah. And you know what? You can winter, pull it off. Winter, summer, winter, summer. <laughs> what do you think? You can pull it what off. You, you can pull anything off. Don't pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> but first, um, I, I, I made you tea. <laughs> I'm a bit worried where that came from. <laughs> like, okay, That's this weird. is an unusual just tea. I, just because I pulled it right out of my crotch? <laughs> I made you tea, and that is a, a picture of the queen, because you're from England. Because oh, you're from England. Um, and because you're from England, uh, there is booze in it. <laughs> so it's that a boozy is, kind of tea. It's a boozy kind of tea, okay. just for Kelly B. So, see what I'm saying? Ooh. You're very pretty. Cheers. Oh, thanks. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I, sometimes I just have to say that. I have to just say that, get it out of the way, just clear the air. You know what I mean? You're a gorgeous person. So, you what can is look it? at me when you say what? It. <laughs> what is it like to be that pretty? Is it uh, because I don't know? <laughs> you're gorgeous. Guys, Fishing not, for compliments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it worked. So in the premiere episode of One Big Happy, we meet your character, and pretty much right away, you are just completely naked. <laughs> yes, and that is correct. That is correct. And not only that, but you had to shoot that scene in front of Ellen. I, I didn't know I had to shoot that in front of Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> Was that, we did not put that in your contract? Well, well <laughs> actually, funnily, when we were rehearsing the scene, um, she actually walked in instead of Alicia in that scene. So I was supposed to, Alicia was supposed to come in, Alicia plays Lizzie, she's supposed to come in and that's where she discovers me in her kitchen. And it was actually Ellen that walked through the door. <laughs> I remember that. And she just said, where am I in this scene? And at which point I just screamed out loud because that was the first time I saw Ellen. That was the first time I met her. I was completely naked. I mean. Good move, good Everything was out. Do you say that in America? You do. <laughs> what are there? Are there good English uh, like nicknames for the word you just said? Yes. Like what? Um, well, there's yeah, there's obviously that one. Um, I mean, there's um, fairy. 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 <laughs> the, my you, favorite is Margaret. You're Margaret. What? <laughs> oh, like you're Margaret Snatcher. <laughs> yeah, could be. Could be. I never thought of it like that. that. Yeah, but Margaret's a good one. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. And it's fairy though, that's interesting. You wouldn't think fairy for fairy. the for the vagina. You wouldn't think. What that. do you say here? Uh, vagina. <laughs> um, I. Margaret Snatcher, now, definitely, <laughs> I think that's always. Think my, yeah, think that's that pretty way. good, that's pretty good. And um, um, uh, now your, your English accent is very good. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked on it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's very convincing. Can you do an American accent? I mean, I don't know. 
Yeah. So now, uh, we've worked together now for almost a year, which yes. is kind of crazy. I know. You know, and you are always in a fantastic mood. I mean, just like always in a great mood. <laughs> <laughs> what drugs are you on? <laughs> I didn't, I, really? Yes. Am I? You're just like a, always like a happy, just like upbeat, ready to do anything and say anything. And you're like just, uh, you seem like a very like just happy. Well, it's been fun, hasn't it? The show's been great. Yeah, it's been a good been, year for all of us. It has. It yes. has. See what I mean? <laughs> she could have like gout in her leg and you wouldn't know it. <laughs> you wouldn't know it because she's just always in a great mood like this. Is that annoying then? No, not at all. No, I love happy people because that's my whole thing in life is I want to make people happy. Yes. But uh, you're already there. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you sad now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not. So, so how about all of the press for this show? Isn't it been crazy, like all the promotions yeah. and stuff? How do you feel about <laughs> being on the cover of the back of the People magazine about the perfect family shocking murder. <laughs> How does that feel? Uh, yeah, I was, I'm surprised with all this, all the uh, yeah posters and the buses and the billboards. Yeah, it's I quite had no some... idea they were gonna me neither put it out there like that. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's incredible. And now you're a huge celebrity in England. So if any of you are watching this from Great Britain or the surrounding countries, I don't know what they are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you. <laughs> Definitely know Kelly Brook. Kelly Brook is hugely famous in Great Britain and in a lot of the world, but you're you're not as well known here. So what is it like to be that famous in one country and then just to be getting famous somewhere else? Um, it's it's really uh, refreshing. It's just nice to kind of start from scratch and just kind of get back to the work and not be caught up with the hype and everything. And I feel like the last year we were able to just. I was able just to, you know, start again, really, and just start from scratch. It's been brilliant. That's amazing. Yeah. Because, because in England, now you're you're a a, a model, a very well known model, a spokesperson. And I believe that you were the spokesperson for Axe body spray for a while. Oh yeah. Is that just right? <laughs> yeah. Which is means you're hot. And um, <laughs> that's what that means. And uh, you you've been a host of a different you know different shows. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you have your own swimsuit line. I'm not making any of this up. <laughs> and you have your own clothing line. Yeah. I think you have your own nail polish line. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And you own a bar. Yeah. One of my greatest achievements is probably <laughs> a bar, to be honest. <laughs> so I put a lot of my time and effort into that. Do you ever sleep? Do you ever just rest? Do you ever just do nothing? Um, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty active. I mean, you I'm, are. Yeah. I really respect that about you. Yeah. And you wrote a book. Yes, I did write a book. And I have it. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, this is Kelly Brooks' autobiography. I'd like you to sign it for okay. me. Okay, uh, can I just say, I didn't wake up one day and decide to write a book about myself. If someone's going to give me money to do something, I will do it. So that's what happens, okay? I, I will give you uh, zero dollars to sign this to me okay. right now. And um, am I in the book? Am you, I in it? You are in it. No, I'm not. Don't say that. Of course you are. I seriously am. You are in the last <laughs> chapter. You're making that up and you're going to like write something right now where you're like in sharp. Uh, no, in look. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The last chapter I have named. You can spend thousands of pounds and stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. One big happy beginning is my final oh, chapter. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel like everything in my life was just. A start. This is where it all starts here. Aww. Right You're here. So sweet. Aww. Right here. Yes. I already liked you, but I already like you so much more. <laughs> You're really just like a lovely. Don't fire me. <laughs> <laughs> I get fired from everything, so I'm just waiting. <laughs> just so you know, usually don't say that to your boss. <laughs> No, You're only so Simon Cowell fired me. Oh, well that yeah. <laughs> This is a very lesbian talk show. So I have to ask, have you ever kissed a girl and have you liked it? <laughs> I'm usually always like three vodkas away from kissing a girl every weekend. So <laughs> we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> What is the, what's the British term for lesbian? Because I like to think it's like something really like adorable, like Muffington or Tiddywhiff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be offensive. 
You don't want to be offensive? No. Or is it there, you only have bad words? <laughs> <laughs> What, what, what is it? Do they, do, what, what are they? Because they wouldn't be offensive to us because we don't know them. Rug muncher? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> I'll bleep it out. It's, it's I, but I get to hear it. Diver? <laughs> well, we do that here. We have you that. Do yeah, we have that. <laughs> um, you, by the way, you just said to me, you do <laughs> diver. <laughs> Is there, but is it, so they don't, there's no like special it's English. It's the same kind of thing as is America. It? I think so. But They're all just tongue in cheek. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Well, pun happened. <laughs> <laughs> One last thing before you go. I, uh, I am not a big drinker, but uh, we've been out several times and um, you are English, so uh, you always make me do shots. <laughs> <laughs> And now it's my turn. So um, you have to do a shot with me. <laughs> bring it in, bring it in. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. It's just tequila. Uh oh. Don't worry about it. Bottoms up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And now a brand new segment with my wife, Rachel, we like to call, what's new, Cantu? Woo! Rachel Cantu! Yeah! 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 Woo! Ow! Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> First question. <laughs> Could you be any cuter? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could not. Um, <laughs> remember, remember when we got married? <laughs> yeah, was, I, I do. <laughs> you do? <laughs> Wasn't it awesome? It was pretty. I, uh, I was gonna curse, but you can't out bleep it out. It was pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it was so fun. Yeah. And we got to marry each other. It was the best. <laughs> and, um, um, remember when I proposed to you in London? I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good. Because it'd be weird if you forgot. <laughs> you were really surprised. I was surprised. You didn't know I, I had no ask idea. you to marry me. I had no idea. And you were like, is this really happening? And then I was like, I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up for 48 hours because I'm so nervous to ask you to marry me. And then we took a four hour nap. Yeah, it was pretty wild. <laughs> 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 now you've had a long and successful career, obviously, even long before we got married. Um, uh, what would you like to have for dinner tonight? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, what do you want? Just like Thai or? <laughs> Should we just like order in? You want to go out? What do you want? To, what do you want? To, should we just like order in? Yeah. Let's order. Right. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you um, remember when I asked you to write a song for One Big Happy? Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember what you said? I said no. <laughs> And then um, I was like, please? <laughs> and you were like, no. <laughs> and then I like gave you a few days because I know you because we're married. And, um, and then I was like, are you sure you don't want to like try to write a song to be the like theme music for One Big Happy? And you were like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> And then you wrote like the most awesome song that thanks. was so awesome. And it's called Make Our Own Way and you can get it on iTunes and stuff. Well, thanks to you for challenging me to write the theme song because then an entire EP came out of it. Awesome. And we're very proud of it. I'm so excited to share it with everybody. It's on Spotify, it's on SoundCloud, it's on YouTube, it's on iTunes. You can just find it anywhere. Pretty much anywhere. Digitally. Digitally. <laughs> digitally. You can pretty much digitally find it anywhere. <laughs> Hey, I have an idea. Would you come back on another episode and play the song for us Woo! all? Yay! Yay! Woo! 
No pressure. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing with us. Like I have to ask her several times to do something, and she keeps saying no, and then eventually I get her to say yes. That's how we started dating. <laughs> um, are you sure you don't want to come on the show with Alex and play the song for everyone? All right. Yay! Yay! Uh, one last question. <laughs> um, will you love me forever and ever? Of course. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel can't <Karen> too. <laughs> oh, she makes me laugh. Well, that's our show, Lesbos. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks to Rachel Cantu, not just for marrying me, but for being on the show today, and to Kelly Brook. This Just Out will be back soon with a new episode, but you can catch a great brand new episode of One Big Happy tomorrow night, March 24th, 9.30, 8.30 Central, and I think you're going to want to watch it. Unless you hate watching hot girls make out with each other on TV. <laughs> then you should skip it. Just skip it. Skip it and watch the next week's. But if that's something that you like, <laughs> Until then, I'm Liz Feldman, and you are so gay. Yo, What's up, Liz Feldman? Uh rap for you. Yo, Liz. Yo, Liz. She's so cute. She wears a tiny little baby blue suit. Blue suit. You did take all your clothes off, actually, in the first episode of One Big Happy. No, you made me take all my clothes off in the first episode of One Big Happy. I wasn't, I wasn't volunteering. I mean, if you want to get technical. Um, <laughs>